In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the downstream O2 sensors on this Dodge Ram 2500 with the 5.7 liter Hemi engine. Let's get started. There are two downstream oxygen sensors on this vehicle, one on each catalytic converter. The procedure and the sensor is exactly the same for both. One is over here, the other one is right over there. No matter which oxygen sensor you're replacing or both, the connectors for them are gonna be on top of the transmission. So you're gonna have to reach your hand up and over. You can reach it from either side, but it is easier to reach it from the driver's side. Now reach up here and you'll find the connectors. Well, one of the two, I'm only replacing one. Stick your hand up here to hold one side and then the oxygen sensor side, you'll have to squeeze on the tab, pull them apart. There we go. A lot of times they get stuck with sand buildup. So shake the connector out and now the wire is loose. We can go over to the sensor side and unscrew it from the pipe. Now put the oxygen sensor socket over the sensor itself. I highly recommend this over a regular wrench, which by the way would be a 22 millimeter because this holds onto multiple sides and is less likely to round off the sensor. Stick the longest possible ratchet that you have in here because you will need some decent leverage. Once you do, hopefully you can break this free. That's broken free. Get this out of here. And if yours spins easily like mine, you should be able to unthread it by hand. If not, continue with a wrench or your O2 sensor socket. Remove the sensor, and there it is. Grab your new O2 sensor. Of course, inspect the threads on your pipe. No, mine are good. And thread this in. Should go in nice and smooth. Make sure your wire doesn't get all twisted up. If it does, just untangle it. That's why I'm plugging it in last so that it doesn't curl up and, and break. When it comes to tightening this, I'm gonna put my O2 sensor socket back on. If you have a 22 millimeter wrench that you wanna do this with, go ahead. But basically, all you need to do is that little washer that's there is a crush washer. You just need to squish it a little bit. That's what's gonna seal it up. Don't go until you can't spin it anymore. That would be way too tight. There we go. That's nice and tight. That was about a third of a turn. So now I'll we'll have to route the wire up and over the transmission where it was so we can plug it in. Now once you find your wire up on top of the transmission, line it up with the connector and plug it in until you hear it click. Well, it's locked in. It was a very silent click but it is locked in. If you can pull it apart, obviously that's not locked in. I cannot, so I'm good to go. If yours was secured with anything over here, re-secure it how it was. Mine was not. So at this point, if you had a check engine light, clear it, run the vehicle, make sure everything's good. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.